Every day from when the trap is built in early April through late June, tribal staff collect and count the number collected of each species. So like Prozac or something? <laughs> You, um, you measure all of them or everyone some? in the box yeah on yeah. a measure day uh -huh. we don't do that every day right we don't need to measure every single fish in the population you just need to get a sub sample to get an idea of their ranges one nineteen cut through. And 32. Oh, I think that's another cut Sometimes they can be a little hard to tell from steel. 144. Coho. 120. This is actually more than usual for Jimmy. A smolt is the name for a young fish undergoing the transition between freshwater and saltwater. Par is the name for a younger fish before it starts that transition. The current smolt trapping project is being conducted on five streams, the Jimmy Come Lately, Bell Creek, Matriotti Creek, McDonald Creek, and Siebert Creek. It's collecting information on the species that are out migrating from freshwater to saltwater during April to June. It does not collect information on those that are not, such as Chinook, Chum, or Bull Trout. The smolt trap for Bell Creek is located on private property upstream from the mouth. It's downstream from the city's water reclamation facility, 
Carrie Blake Park, and a watershed of about nine square miles that includes much of Squim's urban area. The trap itself is just like the one installed on the Jimmy, but smaller. There's a lot less flow in Bell Creek, due to its intermittent nature in the middle reaches. In the wet season, the creek flows high during storms, carrying excess runoff from urban as well as rural areas far upstream. Aaron reports that the counts for 2013 were mostly record highs. Counts for 2014 will be reported this fall. The interesting thing about smolts from Bell Creek compared with other creeks studied are that they migrate out a week or two earlier and are longer and heavier. This may be an indication that they were born in Bell Creek rather than migrating in from another stream. The only way to know for sure if salmon are using bell for spawning is to count adult fish and egg nests in the fall, a project yet to be started.